The Mini has some really interesting and unique design features, uh, one of which being its suspension design. Now it can be a little confusing to new Mini owners as to exactly how it works, so hopefully in this video we can enlighten you using this subframe. Now we're putting this subframe together for a client of ours that's going on a show car. Uh, it's all powder coated, chromed, all new hardware, and it's a perfect example to be able to show everybody how it all functions. The Mini's suspension begins at the subframe. Now on a Mini it's a unibody car, meaning it doesn't have a conventional frame, but it does have two subframes that are bolted, one to the front and one to the back of the car. The subframe contains all of the suspension, brakes, components, except for the shock absorbers which attach from the control arms right up to the top of the body of the car. So a neat thing about the Mini's uh, design with the rear suspension is it's actually a cantilevered swing arm, meaning that the swing arm rotates on this axis here and it pushes on a uh, push rod here, much like you'd see in an F1 car or any other high-end motorsport. The push rod then pushes onto a spring element which is built into the subframe. Uh, that means that most of the suspension is actually unsprung, which is uh, great for handling. Uh, the reason it was also done this way is to help with packaging. Uh, meaning that because the spring and uh, components is all built within the subframe, it doesn't intrude into the cabin space, meaning you have more room inside the car. On this particular subframe, the suspension has been modified slightly. We have adjustable suspension, uh, adjustable push rods, commonly called high lows, uh, and there has been a spring conversion. Now it's noted that uh, for the spring conversion, it's usually just for comfort. Uh, it creates a little bit of a softer ride compared to the usual rubber cones. Now, minis normally have a rubber cone that sits in here, and uh, because it's rubber and because of its cone shape, it actually creates a uh, variable spring rate. So the more it's compressed, the stiffer it gets, and that allows a very small amount of suspension movement to be able to suspend the car because when it's just floating along the surface, it's softer. When it hits a big bump, uh, the spring rate stiffens up, and, uh, and which is one of the things that led to the Mini's uh, remarkable handling, is that really stiff, stiffly sprung uh, suspension. So the way you adjust the height on an aftermarket suspension like this in a Mini is by lengthening or shortening the push rod. Now there's a threaded portion in here, and you rotate this one way or the other, and that pushes or pulls away from the spring and that in turn moves the control arm either up or down on the subframe. Some common areas of concern that usually happen with the rear subframe are that the rubber bushings that hold the subframe to the body of the car deteriorate over time and that allows the whole subframe to flex and inherently that allows all the suspension to move. Uh, sometimes it can also rust out uh, in certain areas where salt or whatnot gets in there. Again, leads to weakness. On the swing arm itself, uh, there is a bushing and a bearing inside. Now the bushing has to be pressed in and then reamed to fit. And the whole thing is then filled with grease through this grease nipple right at the end here. Uh, this has to be greased at a regular interval. Otherwise, uh, when the grease is all pushed out, it can rust inside. And, uh, and then the, the whole thing is shot. To give you a better idea on how the subframe actually mounts to the car, an example here. So this is what's called the heel board, and this is bolted to the back of the unibody of the car. This is essentially the floor of the Mini. And this mounts right here. So the mount for the subframe mounts through these captive nuts into the body of the car. And the same thing goes for up top here. There's two bolts that go up through here holds this in place. So you can see that the subframe uh, just butts right up against the unibody of the car and is held just by these mounts. Common area for rust on the minis is on the heel board right here. Uh, because there's a gap in here, it fills with crap and then it can rust out. And these captive nuts are really important because they're the only thing that holds the front of the subframe on. Well, that's it. Hopefully that enlightened you and how uh, Mini's rear suspension is put together. If you want to see another video on specifics on how to actually assemble one, let us know in the comments. But other than that, thanks for watching. And then best Trump impersonation. Trump, Donald Trump. Oh. It's good though. <laughs>